Hello and welcome back to Cult of the Lamb. If you would like to check it out, there is a link in the description. And, uh, well, if you've seen anything on this game, then you'll know everyone is raving about it. As I said in my first video of this, yeah, it is as good as everyone says. Indeed, indeed. Anyway, we're going to be playing a little bit more today. And last time we constructed our temple and we can now go and see a wide variety of other things so hopefully i'm going to be able to yes collect some divine inspiration as you can see and then we can also unlock other things so we can get sleeping bags or we can get a farm plot i have no idea what is better a place for a follower to sleep very unstable or often collapse i guess that i mean <laughs> we need that to get the body pit. I'm not entirely sure if the body... P well, yeah, I don't know. It's probably going to be kind of useful. So let's go ahead and just get that. I am using a PlayStation 4 controller, by the way. They do recommend to use a controller, but they have worked on the keyboard controls and, and mouse controls, and they've made them apparently very good. I've, I've heard some good things about it. So if you don't have a controller to use, then, uh, well, then uh, the developers will be very pleased for you to use that. Anyway... We are done with this, and that has now allowed us to build some sleeping things. Okay, wait, let's have a look here. Place for a follower to sleep, very unstable. Okay, so let's just do that. Okay, so how many of these can I actually put? Where do we want them to sleep? Should we put them all the way over here, or should we put them a bit closer to home? Probably a bit closer to home, eh? Yeah, probably something like this. Like that. There we go. There's two of them. Okay, I, I guess two? Uh, I, I guess I can only have two, or maybe uh, maybe we only require two to be able to fill out all of our people. Because, I mean, we only have, what is it? Do we have four people or three people? Something like that? Anyway, uh, your followers actually deposit resources in this chest here. So when you when you load in, you, you load in here, and then you walk, you walk by, and then boom, the resources just pop out of the chest. So I thought that was actually a really nice little thing. Anyway, return to the land of the old faith, which is obviously through here, and find commandment stone fragments. Here we go. I would very much like to do that. All right, so we haven't unlocked any additional areas. As you can see, we are going to need nine followers to be, enter, to be able to enter the watery area. We need seven to enter the uh, sort of, I don't know, fire area. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what we, we. I don't know what we can really call them, but uh, in general, they just look like that. Anyway, let's just go into the dark wood and see if we can retrieve yet another follower. I have absolutely just gone crazy about this game, and I love it. And uh, I've been waiting to play again, and uh, the game is coming out really, really soon. It's coming out uh, probably in less than 24 hours by the time you watch this, but if you have watched it after it's released, then, well, you, you, you're probably already playing it, possibly. Anyway, let's have a look. See here. Ooh. A mighty tool of unstoppable brutality. Unfortunately, it has a very slow swing. Okay, yeah. This... Wow, okay, that's that's very, very slow. This might be a bit problematic for me. I generally prefer fast weapons. Anyway, entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy, those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. All right, well, yes, I'm wholeheartedly assuming now that you've given me a slow weapon that I am indeed going to be destroyed. A lot, a lot faster than... Uh, than, than normal, possibly. See, now now I'm in a situation where I'm having some difficulties even cutting down the grass because it's just taking so long with this axe. But it does a lot of damage. You saw that against that enemy right there. It does a lot of damage. These guys have a really, really nice telegraphed attack. Really, really nice and easy to avoid. If I can actually avoid it. There we go. And there's Leshy himself. Hello. So you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again, but what an unworthy bearer it has. I, I'm i slightly hurt by your words, I must, I must admit, but uh, I will not let them discourage me from creating the best and most fantastical cult that ever, ever, well, there, there ever was. Let's just say that. Okay, otherwise, oh, whoa, okay, yeah. The axe actually seems to do some pretty nice cleave damage. I mean, obviously, it's it's got a wide arc of attack, which I very much appreciate. We haven't actually been damaged yet. I'm very surprised about that, to be honest. Let's go down here. 
Are we all the players in this game of chance? Let's draw the tarot card. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to be getting an additional heart, or we will have a 10% chance of gaining health when killing an enemy. In my opinion, gaining health is better. But if you are worried about burst damage, then increasing your HP by one is probably good. But I'm going to go for the healing just in case. You never know. Maybe there's going to be some kind of synergy later on that might be kind of useful where, you know, maybe it's going to be draining life from something and maybe have a bit of an extra chance. Ah, here we go. I am glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. Oh, what is that? <laughs> the ability to bleed from my eyes by the looks of things. All right, so wait a minute. Hold to aim. Okay. What? Oh, oh, okay, okay. This is actually... I feel like this is difficult. Is it just me? Uh, it could be really useful, though. It could be really, really useful. And also, wait a minute. It seems like... Ah, yes, yes. Enemies you slay will now drop further. Collect this to replenish your curses. So that's kind of like an ammo system, I suppose. It is the righteous anger earned by striking down non-believers and works like ammunition. Yes, indeed. For your curses. Fervor will drop when you slay an enemy. Collecting it refuels your curses. Okay, good to know. So now we have a ranged attack. Okay, now here's the thing with me, okay? Whenever I am given something new, I usually tend not to use it ever. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more liberal with my use of the new ability. Because if I'm not, then I'm just going to literally stand there using my axe. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to assume that the ranged attack is going to be somewhat useful against certain enemies, potentially. Anyway, ah, enemies will drop two times more fervor. Okay, mm, I, I don't really, I, you know, I'm going to say it, I don't really care about that too much. I really don't, I don't really care about that too much. There is a shop over there, I'm actually thinking we will go to the shop, or maybe we will go over here. I really have no idea what any of these icons mean at the moment, so I guess we're just going to go over this way. If it's a shop, okay, it, yeah, it, is, it is a shop, okay. Choose follower form, choose commandment stone fragment, or increase the curse attack damage. Okay, I'm going to actually choose commandment stone fragment because it says on the right there, that's our main quest basically, to find those. So we might as well choose that, there we go. We've got one piece, so that's good to know. And unfortunately I don't have enough money to be able to buy the ambrosia, but it's probably something that I would not buy anyway, even if I had the money to do so. And otherwise, let's move on. Oh, hello. They're trying to sacrifice a little bunny. The worm, it is hungry. It feeds. It partakes of our flesh, but that is the price for safety. For that, we gladly give it all we have. All right, here we go. So I'm going to be a little bit careful here, because bear in mind, these guys, I don't think I've really fought these guys that much, so their attack patterns are a little bit... Uh, a little bit unknown to me, I suppose. Uh, oh, yeah, see, there you go. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Should I use my... Ooh, the game slows down when that happens. Okay, that's actually perfect. That's really, really nice, actually. That's one of those quality of life things that I think really puts the game high above others because it makes it so that when you're aiming, because inevitably it's going to take a little bit of time to aim, you're not open to attack as easily which I very much appreciate, especially me. And there we go, we've rescued the bunny, and, uh, and they are going back to our, uh, to our little cultish base. And now here's the boss, here we go. All right, what do we have to do here? Ah, steal devotion, aha, -ha. okay. Let's steal some devotion, thank you very much for that. I was actually attacking this. Okay, anything else? Anything else available here? I actually really like the fact that the uh, the little hat actually, um, well, crown, the, the crown um, falls off our head as we're attacking. You see that right there? And then he, he catches up a little bit. That's super funny and very cute, actually, as well. Anyway, here we go. This is the boss area. We're going to try and not lose any HP along the way. Let's just try and shoot a little bit. Oh, whoa, did it ricochet? Is there is there like explosive, explosive damage in regards to that? I didn't, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know about that. Oh, well, whatever the case, let's move on. And what do we have here? Commandment stone. Aha, yes. Eons are gone. These lands were rife with gods and their adherents. 
What befell this pantheon? Alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget, and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them and theirs. Twere a land of many gods once, hundreds, now... Well, now not so much, I suppose. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just pick up the one on the right. That seems to be a bit rarer, potentially. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I can take all of them. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I actually thought I couldn't take all of them, but there we are. Okay, um, yeah, you found enough fragments to form a commandment stone. Commandment stones are used to declare new doctrines for your cult to follow. Use the altar in your temple to, de to declare a new doctrine when you form, whenever you form a new commandment stone. Okay, good to know. Let's pick up another one then, while I have the ability to do so. Very nice. So, in essence, me going to that shop that one time did give me an extra one. Tell me, lamb, do you believe destiny immutable? Well, I don't know, actually, but what I am going to do is when attack, 10% chance of negating damage or gain an extra heart. I'm going to have a 10% chance of negating damage because, let's face it, if I get hit for three hearts, a 10% chance to negate the three heart damage is better than gaining an additional half heart, in my opinion, at least. Oh. Do I have to kill this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was worried there for a second. I thought to myself, wait a minute, it, it's, it, is it an NPC? No, 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 it's actually not an NPC. Uh, I mean, technically it is an NPC. We just had to kill it. Okay, so let's move on. This is a boss, I believe, right? Yep. Hello there. Valifar. Valifar. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, wow. Okay. Not too bad. We got him. Okay, so that was actually pretty cool. I gotta say, I really like the way that they've handled bosses in the game. Every single one seems to have some wonderful attack patterns. And, and I'm not talking about attack patterns that are easy to determine what they are initially. But they're so intuitive, you know? It really gives you that uh, that feeling of, oh yes, I'm outsmarting this guy. Even though it may be a simple pattern or whatever, I think that's really cool. Anyway, uh, should we get some gold nuggets? Let's get some gold nuggets. Nice. Give me all of that. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I will now be exiting. There we go. Alright, so now we can make our way back. We can return to the cult or... No, that's locked. Can't go forward there. Alright, so yeah, we're going to be returning to our home base. And we'll see what our followers have done. We also do need to indoctrinate two additional followers. Hilariously enough, we have two additional followers already. Wouldn't have expected us to gain so many so fast. Oh, hello there. We're apparently being called to a business meeting. Very good, my vessel. It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I will be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, you know. I mean, uh, it's not really up to me whether... Well, it is, it is actually kind of up to me whether I fail or not, but... Yeah, don't tell him that. Don't tell him. All right, there's the wonderful resources. I can now go in here and do another sermon if I want to, but I'm actually not going to do that just yet because I'd like to indoctrinate this follower here first. Okay, please spare you. Yes, I'm... I'm yeah, of course. Why not? Why not? Okay, yeah, so let's just do that. Let's accept him. Gonna. I'm basically just going to go with the, the names that they come with because I feel like that's a little bit more uh, cool and organic. I don't know. I, I personally like that a little bit more than 
uh, renaming them, but whatever the case. Okay, uh, so we're going to just get him to go and worship. And then we're going to indoctrinate Valifar as well. Please spare me, he says. Yes, of course. And, okay, so let's have a look. Generates devotion 15% slower. Okay, yeah, so he's obviously not going to be a, a devoted person. So we're just going to make him uh, collect stone or something like that, or wood or whatever it is that we need. I guess wood. There we go. All right, that seems pretty good to me. So, yeah, let me just... Why am I mining? I don't know. Why am I mining stuff? Okay, yeah, so let me just pick up all of this. There we go. I almost have enough divine inspiration. Yes, I do. And now we can get a body pit. I have no idea what this is. Uh, well, obviously, I, I know kind of what it is, but I wouldn't know what it really does at the moment because I don't have any dead followers. So bury dead followers in a simple pit avoids rotting corpses. Could be useful. So I'm actually just going to unlock it straight away. It'd probably be good to go and get the farm, though, as soon as possible, to be honest. So we're going to try and do that. That's the reason why I wanted to put an additional person on this um, on this activity here. And there are not enough beds for all your followers. Oh, yeah. I need to change that, don't I? I don't want to talk to you, sir. Can you please get out of my way? Thank you. All right. So, yeah, there are not enough beds. So let me put some down. Let me put another one here. And another one here. And another one here. I can actually just put them all next to each other. I mean, they're probably going to hate me for doing that. But, yeah, it seems like a lot of people are actually sleeping right now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to need to... <laughs> how do I how do I wake them up I don't even know okay well we're gonna shall I just oh, I don't want to make anything for them either catch critter what's that oh that gives me a little bit of uh, a little bit of devotion by the looks of things oh that's cool all right okay so I, I don't know how long it's gonna take them to wake up oh, oh I can see that in the top right okay yeah so it's just gonna take a little bit of time for that to occur and then we will give the sermon. All right, so here's day three. And it seems like our uh, wonderful followers are ready for another sermon. And that is exactly what we're going to do now. Okay, here we go. So we can uh, upgrade and expand the abilities of the Red Crown. Probably want to do that before we do the sermon, I guess. Uh, yeah, so here we go. New doctrine. So this is obviously going to increase something or other. Okay, so declare new doctrine. I guess we'll do that. I have no idea what this does, by the way. I'm just basically just just going around and doing this. Okay, uh, dance around the flame to increase the cult's faith. Plus 30 bonfire ritual. Okay, yeah, sure. That's going to unlock the, uh, the new ritual there. And yeah, we obviously do want to increase their loyalty as much as possible. So there we go. There's the first one. We need... Wh what's that? What is that on the left there? I have no idea what that is. But uh, I guess we'll find out. And let's do a... Uh, oh, we, we can do a ritual right now, but I'm actually just going to do the sermon straight away, just because we do need to increase our loyalty as it is. So we're just going to get everyone... There we go. And now we can actually unlock something. Bane weapons or Curse of the Horde? Okay, I have no idea. Let's have a look. Three new curses will appear on your crusades. Or Bane weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies when attacking. Yeah, I, I, I think that that is, that is much better. I, w I would very much like bane weapons. Thank you very much. I was born in the dark, and so on and so forth. Okay, so yeah, otherwise... We don't have enough followers to be able to get the next sermon by the looks of things, but now we can do a ritual. I, I don't think I have whatever that is, though. That's the thing. What is, what is that? Yeah, they look like bones. They actually look like bones, so I don't have the ability to do that right now. Do I have anything else that I can do here? What's this? Fleece of the Lamb. No, these are all these other things. And that's on the cooldown, of course. Okay, yeah, so that's absolutely fine. All right, all right. No problem. Okay, yeah, so I do need bones by the looks of things. All right, so well, we're just going to exit here. Ah, there we go. Preaching sermons, performing rituals, and providing for the needs of your followers will keep their faith high. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy their skeletons to gather their bones. Ah, Yes, I actually thought to myself, wait a minute, there's there, there's skeletal corpses on the floor, and I thought, wait a minute, do I need to actually destroy those? And apparently I did, and I didn't do it. So that was a big mistake on my part. Oh well, never mind, never mind. Uh, we can always 
Yeah, hopefully catch up with it. Anyway, perform rituals in the temple. These usually raise faith or help you to solve problems in the cults. Rituals are performed using the bones of your fallen enemies after slaying a non-believer. Desecrate their bodies together with their bones and use them to perform dark rituals at your temple. And that is exactly what we, what we will do. All right, so I don't think I really need to cook anything right now. And my, my people are uh, just going to be, uh, you know, building their beds and everything. And then, uh, yeah, we, we might as well just get going. Let's, let, let's get going. You now have enough beds for all your followers. Yeah, fantastic. And we are going to get another follower, I assume, at least, if we go in here. And, uh, and and get the next thing. So get the next little uh, little animal to join us. Ooh, here we go. What's this? Convoke a violent eruption of powerful tentacles or a bane axe. I'm going to go for the powerful tentacles, of course. I, I am... Uh, uh, wait, can I get both? Oh, I can get both. I thought I had to choose. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Never mind. All right, here we go. Let's draw the tarot card. Let's see what I get. Okay, reveal the map or a 10% chance of gaining health when killing an enemy. Reveal the map? Why does that make any difference? Uh, I'm going to reveal the map. I want to see what happens when we do this. Pretty sure the other one is better, but we're going to see. We've got more commandment pieces. That's fantastic. So we now have the ability to, uh, well, soon have the ability to select another one. There we go. And now we can destroy their bones. There we go. Maybe we couldn't even destroy the bones beforehand. We, we've got to consider that to be, you know, a possibility. Because I think I was swinging around quite a lot with my big axe before. And I was not really getting rewarded for that. So it might have just been that it was not possible at that time. Oh, hello. You're wanting to speak to me, are you? So it is true. The red crown sits upon the brow of another... But how? We did everything we could to... It matters not. We need not bother Shomura with this. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. Alright, so yeah, Leshy's obviously just gonna be like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna kill that cult leader and a half. And yeah, he's, he's probably gonna do that. Please do not get me killed now. That would be hilarious if I literally don't take the, the healing thing and then all of a sudden... Okay. That's pretty damaging. <laughs> that was pretty damaging. I like it. I like it. Okay. Can I get more of those, please? That's the tentacle tentacle attack. That actually did massive damage. Yeah, that was easy enough. And now we can destroy... Oh, it seems like most of the skeletons actually do get destroyed automatically when you complete a, uh, a certain room. So that's actually making a pretty big difference. A bale of hay... Okay, bale of hay. Uh, that's a decoration, I suppose. Yeah, that, that seems to be a decoration. Okay, fantastic. That is going to consume grass. I was actually wondering what grass was going to be used for, but it seems like it's that. And we can now continue to destroy these things. Give me some more bones, please. Thank you very much. I would very much like to complete that, um, that ritual, if at all possible. Okay, that was... E what? What, what was what was that guy doing? What was he doing? He was lazing around. He, he just basically allowed me to slay him at that point. No idea why he decided to do that, but okay. Anyway, we're just going to gain some more coins. And now we get to choose our path. Now it gets even more complex. Alright, where do we want to go? That's a follower. That might be a weapon upgrade. That's foraging for food. That's a question mark. Uh, that Oh, two followers. Hmm. I think that's two followers. Yeah, let's, let's go here. I think I have to go back, actually. Okay, wait, listen. I was, I was trying to attack him. They're all dead. Oh, Lord. How could I? Again? Do you see it in me, the darkness in my soul? I absolve you. Join me. Thank you, master. All right. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Is he, lit is he literally going to murder my own... Is he going to murder my people? <laughs> Hopefully he'll save the murder for our enemies or something like that. That would be nice, but uh, yeah, you know, you you can't you can't really you can't really say either way, can you? Oh well, at least we gained another follower. And what is this? Maybe I keep this one. I grow hungry. 
Okay, buy him for 64... 64% <laughs> off. Yep, I'm gonna buy him. Get a little bunny. Get a little bunny for 64% off. Why not? Alright, I'm I'm actually kinda surprised the spider was like, oh yeah, let's let's do some let's do some dealings for some coin. I wouldn't have expected coin to be um you know, a thing that a spider would be uh would be into, but there's a huge amount of bones on this map actually, hilariously enough. There we go. Terribly sorry for destroying all your stuff, but uh you had bones here, so that's the reason why I did that. Anyway, let's go over here. I'm actually wondering whether this is going to be a weapon. Ah, this is just stealing devotion. Okay, not sure if I, not sure if I really care about devotion at the moment. We're gonna obviously be gaining devotion naturally over time. Anyway, what? That was it? Are you serious? Can I destroy this? Yes, I can. It doesn't do anything. It just gives me some stone. All right. Okay, now I just gotta be careful not to get hit. We really do not want to get hit because I didn't take the healing thing. So I want to make sure that we don't take damage unnecessarily. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, seems pretty easy. And no bones to get? Nope. Okay. That was easy. Yeah, that thing literally just stands there for a few seconds when you enter the room and, well, he's open to all kinds of attacks, so it's relatively easy to take him down. Alright, let's move forward. Same one with this. Oh, are you serious? Oh. He got me. Alright, there's another tarot card. Hopefully it's going to be the heal thing. Oh no, an attack 10% chance of negating damage. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. And what's over here? Now that's the thing, I have no idea. Wait a minute. Oh, I can actually see the little mini-map at the top. This is a little fight, I believe. Oh no, it's a merchant. Okay, I had no idea. It's a weapon merchant. Okay, step forward, beast, from the sw swirling mists of chaos that surround. Allow me to regard you wholly. Hmm. You carry the waves of ageless cre ageless creatures? No. Ageless centuries upon such diminutive shoulders. Yet, what is this? It seems your stature is deceiving. A weapon is naught without the hand that wields, to fell enemies, to, to defend honor, to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron, forged in everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promised liberator. Alright, so we have the ability to select the Crusader's Blade, which is the regular blade that we normally uh, normally gain, I believe. And then we also have the Cleaver, that's an up upgrade. Uh, I don't really want the Flaming Shot, so I'm actually going to go for the Crusader's Blade. I think the Crusader's Blade, I, I think it's just so fun to use. I actually like it a, a great deal, so I'm going to use this instead. I mean, it's just so much faster, I might be able to get more damage out from it, but... I don't have the poison component, which is a little bit problematic. So we might have some issues with it, who knows, but uh, yeah. Oh, look at that, I gained a temporary heart. Oh, now that's actually going to be pretty useful, considering. Not sure if the boss is coming up right now, but I suppose we'll see. What do we have there? Ah, we got some paths. Okay, we got a brick flooring, very nice. I haven't actually laid, uh, laid any pathing out at all, so I might need to do that. I don't really know whether it makes any difference. Maybe it speeds up our followers' movement around the uh, around the base or something like that. Not entirely sure, but yes. Yeah, so now we're on our way to the boss, and we almost uh, we have some pretty good devotion actually at the moment. We might be getting some more. Let me just do this. There we go. Oh, really wanted to eliminate these guys, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. Okay. Yeah, that was. Messy. I have a yeah, as I said before, when I started this run, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm probably gonna die here. Yeah. That actually um, makes a great deal of sense now, now that I see what's happening. Oh my. Okay, yeah, the tentacles are actually super, super good, by the way. They're very, very damaging, so I'm probably going to try and use that against the boss, but I am having some huge problems with HP right now, so I might not even make it to the boss, which would be hilarious. Which I think actually might even be the case. I might not even be able to. Okay, here we go. Not eh, It's not going too badly so far, but I'm very much hoping... Wait a minute. Is that the is that a boss in here or 
Oh my. Okay. It, hmm. Yeah, I think it is actually. Yep, it is. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna just see what he decides to do first. Okay, that's it's kind of random. It's kind of random. Easy to avoid. We did it. Whew. Okay, yeah, I had to. I had to shut up, really, because uh, there was no way I was gonna do that if I uh, <laughs> if I was commentating. To be honest, that was that was actually uh, pretty intense. Hilariously enough, one of the early uh, early bosses, and it still still gave me a good run for my money. Anyway, we have uh, berry bush seeds here or blueprint. I'm gonna take the blueprint. As I said in the in the past, I think a uh, blueprint is probably gonna be good. Archway of woven blooms and vines, a flower arch could be really, really nice looking actually. And it is created through the use of grass. Okay, nice to know. And there's the chest. And what do we have? What am I getting? Getting loads of bones, getting another commandment, uh, commandment slab, and now we can head onward. And we have one more run until we can unlock that door ahead of us right there. Not entirely sure what that means, but... Maybe it's going to take us to, to Leshy or something like that? I have no idea, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, we now have the ability to... Oh, hello. Another business meeting. Do not mistake. Do not make the mistake of becoming the servant of your followers. They are for you to use to your advantage. Their faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold. For you can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Let it empower you. Let it give you license to do unspeakable things. Bend them to your will. I grant you the power to read their feeble little minds. Alright, so now, <laughs> interact with followers to read their thoughts as well as to see how hungry, uh, tired or sick they are. Alright, here's, here's a new doctrine by the looks of things. There we go. A new follower action. When interacting with followers, this action will be available to you. Okay, I I don't know how that's going to work when I have many, many followers. It's going to be a bit difficult to keep control or, shall we say, keep track of everyone. But, um, yeah, hello there. Hello, hello, sir. Leader, I am famished. I fear I have become naught but skin and bones. I beg of you, is there anything to eat? Uh, yeah, there is, actually. I'm going to be making something right now. There we go. Let's do this. I'm going to make basic berry bowl. 15% of the... 15% of your followers poop instantly. Or 10% chance of causing exhaustion. Uh, we'll go for this one. I guess. Uh, how many do I need to cook? How many do I need to cook? Ah, okay. Quite a few. How about that? There we go. Now we've got to do a little bit of a mini game. I love the mini game, by the way. I could basically play a game that's just this, and I have in the past. Okay, yeah, so there we go. Now everyone's going to go and get their uh, their nom noms, you know, as you do. 
And we're going to get a little bit of extra devotion here. Divine Inspiration has now been unlocked. And there's the farm plot. Fantastic. Now we will be able to actually create our very own little, uh, little garden, I guess you could call it. And we now have the ability to get the farming bundle as well. But I'm pretty happy with what we have. I don't have anything else here. There we go. Okay, so now we can actually create the farm. So let's do that right here. What is this? Body pit. Well, obviously we are going to need a body pit at some point, but I don't really want to build it right now. It seems a little bit morbid, <laughs> he says. All right, so yeah, otherwise let's um, let's go over here. Uh, farm plot. Let's just do something like this. There we go. That seems pretty nice. And... Yeah, we're going to clean this up. Thank you very much. Un unsanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. If a follower becomes sick, assign them to bed rest or they could die. Resting will allow them to slowly recover. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illness to spread quickly throughout your cult. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do that very, very quickly. I'm surprised they didn't do that themselves, to be honest, but okay. All right. Well... That's absolutely fine. Okay, yeah, so there's a reward from uh, Thorjul um, because we fed him. And is, is that him right there? Is, is that him? I can't actually see. Wait, yeah, complete quest. Oh, I can't. I'm going to just help him build this because he's being uh, he's being someone that I can't really speak to at the moment. There, There's the completing. There we are. Fantastic. Wow, you did it. Truly, you are without floor. I am grateful, great leader. Okay, yeah, I'm sure you are. Thank you. All right, so we gained additional faith. Ah, that actually made a huge difference, amusingly enough. That's really, really nice. Okay, so let's speak to this guy, and we're going to read his mind. All right, so here we go. He's He's been a member for three days. Um, he's uh, Colt has a new member. Bad chat, boring, must avoid them in future. Good chat, I had a great conversation with a fellow Colt member. Colt has a new building. And a happy new recruit. Okay, so that's what he was. To, that's what he was thinking about. Apparently, I don't. I don't see how that really helps me that much. But maybe in the future they'll. Maybe he just has nothing to say. You know, in his head, maybe he has nothing to say. Anyway, that's probably going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more Cult of the Lamb from me, then by all means, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, you can play it yourself. And uh, yeah, check it out through the link in the description. It is amazing, as everyone says, and as I thought it would be, but. Yeah, there you go. I uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.